Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to go over how to test from home. So, um, please read everything here. I need you guys to read everything. I need you guys to watch this video. We don't have a classroom. And usually, if you're coming to class for an hour a day, five days a week, we get to talk about these instructions and remind you and everything. And I really rely on you guys to read my emails and, and read all the, these pages and watch this video. And So, I'll try to explain. So... You call in Zoom for the final exam, but not the chapter test. So with the chapter test, I just want you to click on them and take them after you have done really well on the review, okay? Don't test unless you've done well on the review. And Canvas will generate different questions for each student. But when you want to take the final, you call my phone, um, you know, pretty much any time, and then we'll get on Zoom and proctor your test, okay? So... Um, so when you're taking a chapter test, make sure you have a quiet hour or two. Um, you need at least one hour for chapter test and at least two hours for the final. Okay. Um, how many questions are there? It, it doesn't really matter. Like some questions are longer and shorter. Sometimes there's 20 questions. Sometimes there's 30. Sometimes the questions are longer or shorter. I mean, you just need about an hour for the chapter tests. But if, if you like to take your time, make sure you have two hours. And for the final, you'll need, make sure you have at least two hours. And if you like to take your time on the final, you can have three. Does that make sense? So basically, you can have an extra hour for, for the tests if you want to. Um, so once you click on the test, the timer will start and you must complete it. There are no retakes. Um, again, you got to make sure you've given your best effort on the review, okay? Um, and, and, and like my, my attitude is I'd rather see you take the test a day late and do well on it than take it exactly on time and get a low score. All right. So if you feel like you need more time to get the review done, if you need to get tutoring, if you need to go over some videos, if you need to go over past quizzes, um, by all means. Okay. So, um, prepare your test scenario, make sure you have all the, the things you need. Um, um, prepare your uh, computer and your device. Make sure everything's ready to go, your internet. And then, like, write all of your work down on paper. And in this class, scratch paper is an illegal uh, phrase. You're not allowed to say scratch paper. You got it. Like, the tests are worth a lot because it's college. So this is the most important work you're going to do in the class. So when you're doing your tests... I want to see you write everything down really neatly on paper, okay? Um, then you need to upload it, all right? So, so here's some work uh, and, and a student has done, and it's nice and neat. And, um, and I can see all this really clearly. I can read it, and, 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 I, and if the student has made a mistake, um, but uh, I can at least probably give some attempt points because they're in the right direction, right? And this student has four uh, pictures, so they've they've used four pages. Now you can use as many pages as you like. The more paper, the better, for when you're taking your test. Use lots of space. You know, make sure it's the re the neatest work you've done the in the whole uh, course, right? Lots of space. So if you want to turn this into one file, this is on a window. So it just depends on your device. And we have lots of different instructions for different devices. Um, if you go to the page on how to turn your work in. But, but if you're on Windows, here's a quick one. Highlight everything, right click, print, and then choose Microsoft Print to PDF and hit print. Okay. And... Um, yeah, and now I'm going to save that, and that'll turn those four pictures of work into one PDF file. If you're using, if your operating system is Windows, you can do this. Okay, so here it is. This is test, and that's one PDF file. Okay, and. And so now, if I'm taking my test. The last question is going to say, please upload all of the neat and clear work you've done for this test as one file, PDF or other. Now, it doesn't have to be a PDF. Some students even, 
you know, they make a little video and they just flip, show the, each page, okay, as they make a video. Just whatever you do, make sure I can actually read it. If it's, if, if you can't, if, if, if I've got to be able to see it so I can give you some attempt points. All right, so now I go and I find my um, test here. So I've chosen the file and I'll upload and then I'll submit the quiz, okay? So then always ignore whatever Canvas tells you you've got because it's it's not very clever it, with grading some questions because there might be some questions that require you to actually draw a graph on paper, okay? And I actually have to see that graph on paper, okay, in order to give you the points. So Canvas will automatically give you zero for that. Or there might be a question where you have to write some sentences in English. Now Canvas is automatically going to give you zero for those sentences in English because I actually have to look over it to give you the points. So your initial score is probably a good bit, probably lower than what you're actually going to get after I look over your work. Okay, so don't be disappointed when you hit submit and Canvas gives you a low score. Don't be disappointed. All right. Just wait until I've actually graded the thing and I can see your work and then I can give you the proper score. So um, usually, oftentimes students, they, they get a low score and they're, oh, I did terrible on the test. And then I say, well, we don't know what you got because like I haven't seen your work yet. And then they don't turn their work in and I can't see it anyway. So like, don't let that happen to you. I need to see your work. So again, please watch Please read all of the instructions here. All right, so testing tips. How to do well is do well on the review. Okay, I give these reviews. I'm not trying to surprise you. I will be asking questions just like what's on your reviews. Okay, so make sure you can do everything in the reviews. If you miss, uh, make sure you're checking the odd numbered answers in the back of the book. If I've given you textbook homework questions, um, if I give you quizzes, make sure that you try to get everything correct on the quizzes and if you don't uh, get help with it um, email me call me go to homework sharing um, go back over past videos and if you do have time some students like to go back over all of their previous uh, you know quizzes for this chapter and and they'll try to get full points on their previous quizzes and you're welcome to do that you can go back over past quizzes and try to get full points if you want all right Okay, so that's what I've got, and best of luck, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon.